Hi guys, welcome to the Backyard Greenhouse. Now today's topic is going to be me talking about my evaporative cooler media that I had installed in my greenhouse and what I'm going to be doing next. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is the evaporative cooler meter that I have currently installed right now. So the way it's installed is to where it's facing at the back wall towards the uh, the greenhouse because that's where the actually heat mainly comes towards from the outside to the inside. So that will become a great use of this media. Now these double fans, the circular fans, it's a great, great use towards this because when the air comes through from the outside and comes through behind the fans, it'll push out the cooler air, which, you know, creates cooler. Well, this pump that I have right here right now, I purchased this from an Amazon, which I thought it was great and I thought it'd be a great um, use towards this. Well, since this pump is working at the moment, and as it's circulating through this evaporated pads, it's making the water come out a lot more colder, like someone threw ice in it. It's just because the humid from the hot air outside comes through here, which cools it, and the effect of that, it makes the water even colder, which actually makes the whole greenhouse a little more decent enough to be inside. All right, now let's talk about the changes that I'm going to be doing. I have recently purchased more evaporative media coolers, which is going to make this side and that side even longer. So it's going to be at least about five feet on, in height. So that bend right here, if water fill, is going to be towards the bottom. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. If I do, it's just going to stay right there. Everything's going to have to be adjusted. So that. And this, those two fans are going to be a little lower than normal, like maybe right here, more or less. So I'm hoping with that change is being made as being five feet down, going down like this, both sides. I'm going to have a long enough cooler, which is going to do a very good long duration of cooling in the process. So I'm trying to aim for the temperature to be around 80 85 the max so one way to find out is once I get those new evaporator cooler installed once they get here okay guys now this is it for this video so I'll see you on my next video see you guys